And I like his style. He looks very good, but I just can't stop from getting some vibes off of him from that. Maybe, I mean, at this point you could, I, I would say it's the best too. I can I can see where you you take that, but uh, well, we'll, we'll we're going to get straight into this match. It's winner's quarters of the first pool. It's Kaiji against Jair. We have Inkling, Inkling Incinerer, oh my god, against Game and & Watch. And uh, this is going to be interesting because Game & Watch, to a lot of people, is a very annoying character. And in less than 20 seconds, he almost takes the first stock off of Kaiji. Uh, but he's also incredibly light, and we know what happens to light characters against someone like Incineroar. Oh no, paperweights? They get burned, bro. Like, mm -hmm. completely. They get burned immediately. And that's like, the thing is, you couldn't kill Incineroar, now he's gonna kill you before you can even blink. And that's something like that's like very difficult, especially because you know that SkyJ has had his fair share of experience fighting against Mr. Game & Watch with, you know, top player Meister. And that Reggie Shikimi, which is also one of the better Mr. Game & Watch mains out there, and they're both yeah. Mexican, so you know for a fact that this matchup, he has it down. It may be difficult, but I mean, what matchup isn't difficult for Incineroar, and that SkyJ hasn't been able to, to take out, you know? Like, those matchups that, that people say, oh no, on paper, this is this is a very difficult matchup for Incineroar. Now, uh-uh, no sir, it ain't gonna do it, because SkyJ turns the tables almost immediately, going right there for the Alolan Whip, and this could be it for the, oh, there we go. For the blob! Jesus Christ, SkyJ almost not getting hit after that after he almost got zero to death exactly yeah he made it work is that for the very first few seconds he almost like had the first stock on his side already but yeah he's uh he's finding a little bit of trouble uh with the revenge right there from kaiji saving his life three percent on the side of the other but he's gonna be very careful because if he gets hit once it could be very very devastating he goes deep uh to try to get that down the downer doesn't find it just yet but he's gonna be careful because i think Oh, barely avoiding that Alola Whip because I think SkyJ had revenge, had done revenge twice at that point, so that could have dealt like 50% maybe. If not killed, because it is Mr. Game and Watch the person, I mean, the character yeah. you're speaking of, right? So, yeah, you're completely right. Oh, the second revenge, the third revenge right there. All three big revenges, but it's still three revenges, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be scary. seeing Yael right there. Ooh, almost trembling within his pants. But no, immediately gets the key. And we're seeing that Sky J just, just wants to make this interaction count because he knows it's going to be so much damage. Like we're seeing right there, 41 damage off of the weak hit of the Darkest Lariat. Oh, no, he side beats to the other side. That could have been an early stock on behalf of Sky J to kill B PGP Yael right there, but oh, we're, we're gonna be seeing that this could possibly. I, I really don't know why Skyji is struggling so much against Mr. Game and Watch of all characters. Oh, well, as I do understand, I just don't know why it's happening. I mean, it's just it might be just a case of he is moving too much and he's not actively trying to play from from Skyji like like that's the case if with a lot of people. So maybe he's just getting that much, a lot of pressure there because the multi-hits have been wonderful for him. He's going to find once again that down tilt into the back to take the second stock off of Yael. But uh, he's not been able to use revenge as much as he would have wanted to because Mr. Game Watch attacks come out so fast that when he goes out to use those, those come out faster than his. So it's been the case at least for the very first two stocks. Yes, and you see, like, he knows whenever the gun he's going to fall with the downer, whenever he's going to try to overextend, and where he can squeeze in those revenges. And I see that happening, and the fact that they're not connecting, I just think that Yael knows some, some experience in this type of regards. Of course he has to, because it's not very easy to adapt to, to a character as obscure as Incineroar, at least in Mexico. There are not a lot of Incineroars, other than, like, you know, those, like, niche little friend groups that you occasionally see. So, I do, want, I do know for a fact that these players have played before and online so yeah. it may, that may be the experience speaking right there that's not Ooh. no that can oh my god no way sky j he's laughing <laughs> dude that's why they call him el ratero bro that's why they call him el ratero because he be stealing stuff bro that's no way celular y cartera <laughs> <laughs> he's just laughing all the way he knows what he did again he i mean i can't blame him i can't blame him that's what the character does he's doing what the character is meant to do so <laughs> he's, you can't you can't take that smile off of him dude that smug face like he's like yeah i just I, did that <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah get used to it <laughs> yeah man, nah, man i just i just love seeing this type of interaction from skyj because he knows he knows they're dirty and instead of like what any other person would do and saying like oh man i'm gonna stray from the dirty ways i'm gonna do good he's like yeah, yeah. 
that's happening. <laughs> and I just love it from him. We're going straight into game two, Battlefield of all stages. I think it could benefit Mr. Game Watch in order to get those, you know, those up airs a bit more, a little bit more of consistent yeah. damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> one never knows. Okay, okay. He's Please. going straight for it. <laughs> He's going straight for the neck, bro, right? They're starting off strong. It's literally 15 seconds. He's gone for three of them. He's connected two of them, so he knows what his game plan is, at least for this second game. And so far, he's making it work. 70%. We're gonna start here with some of Game & Watch's strings. Doesn't find the next hit. 15%. Uh, Sky has got revenge. He's gonna be very careful close to the ledge, because if that was a shield break, that would have been it. I'm surprised we haven't seen a shield break, considering the amount of uh of neutral bees uh that uh that skyj has thrown and none of them had connected with the third one but uh little by little gel is coming back actually percentage wise you're completely right and that's like really really nice to see but that's the problem with skyj with such a big amount of percent especially in Sinor, which is one of the one of the heavy characters that can hit so dang hard it's just impressive to know that, that he can live that much damage and dish it out so fast so and and i would say like the same way but no it's not even equivalent it's just something very difficult oh the air dodge away Ooh. just barely enough to get out of that situation and check oh we're having a problem right here yeah he's gonna be very careful because he's it, this reminds me a little bit of fighting in silver i mean Mario, because the percentage high he's getting revenge too so and, and against a character as light as Game & Watch, a single mistake is gonna cost you, and that Nair almost does it. He look at him, he's going off, he's going deep, he doesn't connect that little, that last attack, but he's gonna go recover high and hit that. That's gonna be enough to take the second stock, and look at him, he's feeling himself, he's just chilling, he's waiting, he's gonna get the Alola whip right off the bat on the third stock, and he might just try to take this last stock as fast as possible. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's still alive! Oh, he living, bro, he living! Sky J shattering all expectations right there, but just barely able to make it back, going with the double re-grab, because Peke Peke was in the zone right there, trying to, you know, catch him, maybe trying to come back on, on, on stage, and you see, something that I've been seeing Sky J do quite a lot, it's just, oh, that's it! Oh, that's no it. way! Oh, you're dead, bro! Oh, my God! Oh. 81%, what is going on? Sky J, that's what, dude, that's why they call him the Rupper! Okay, that, it just... Barely didn't explode, and yeah, right there with the time, it's like, yeah, you know what? I can still probably make this comeback, even though in the in in the bleakest of nights there shall be some lights. But it's very difficult when whenever you have Sky J, the one that's making this dark type seem like dark itself. Absolutely, 104% on the side of Yael, a net your situation here for Sky J. He's trying to bait a quick recovery, he doesn't find it. He's gonna catch him with the upper. That's gonna be it. Sky is gonna close this second game, this set with a 2-0, making him his way into winner semis of this pool. Already guaranteed top 12, so congrats to Sky J. He's vibing. We've seen him vibe for the entirety of this set. He's smiling. And he's just he's just keeping up with what his mission is. And he's trying to get that win. And he's closer once again. Closer and closer, consistently trying to get his, uh, trying to get every single one of the percentage that he's done, like as in Valor. And I really understand how difficult it can be to fight against a, a player so so good as Sky J. Even though Yael, he did hold his ground very very well. It wasn't like something that you would see just oh just write him off like 